All right, on to the last one. And this one does use a slightly different argument, but ultimately prices are still gonna be the bridge between the marginal rate of substitution and the marginal rate of transformation. So let's talk about output, output efficiency. All right. Output efficiency requires the marginal rate of substitution is equal to the marginal rate of transformation. The marginal rate of transformation is the slope of the production possibilities frontier. So if we have all the combinations of food and shelter that a society and you know is capable of producing, uh, everything inside here is feasible, everything outside is impossible, we just don't have enough capital and labor to produce this much food and shelter, and anything on the frontier is efficient. And we call that frontier the production possibilities frontier. So the slope of that thing is the marginal rate of transformation. Okay, that's what we're looking for here. And this uh, marginal rate of transformation is equal to the marginal product of food, I'm sorry, the marginal product of labor for producing food divided by the marginal product of labor for producing shelter. And it's also equal to the marginal product of capital for producing food divided by the marginal product of capital for producing shelter. Notice if we rearrange all those, we get back to the condition that the marginal rate of technical substitution for producing food or shelter are equal to each other. All right, so we've already seen from the last video that the marginal rate of substitution is going to be equal to this, okay? All right, how are we going to show the same thing for the mar We need to basically then show that this, these prices are also equal to the marginal rate of transformation. So how do we do that? Well, we're gonna use our profit maximization conditions. Remember, if a firm is maximizing profit, it's got price of producing food times the production function for making food, capital for producing food, labor for producing food, minus the wage rate for producing food. I'm sorry, it's gonna have the same wage rate for anything, food or shelter. And then when we maximize this, we get the first order condition that the price times the marginal product of labor for producing food is equal to the wage rate. Remember this condition? It said that if you hire one more worker, we want the extra revenue they bring in to exactly equal the uh, cost of that worker, all right? So we know this is true, and by the same argument, we know that the price of shelter times the marginal product of labor for producing a shelter is also equal to the wage rate, okay? We can combine these two equations. Uh, let's divide the bottom one by the top. Sorry, let's rearrange them one more time first. Uh, where's my cursor? Here it is. This can be rewritten as the price of food is equal to W over the marginal product of labor for food, and this can be written as price of shelter is equal to W over the marginal product of labor of shelter. I'm just dividing both sides by those marginal products. Now, if we divide these by each other, we can get PS divided by PF is equal to the wage divided by the marginal product labor for producing food, and so on. And that can be rewritten as the marginal product of labor for shelter over the marginal product of labor for producing food. We attach a negative sign to e in front of it, and suddenly we've got the marginal rate of technical subs of transformation is equal to this price ratio. We could do the same thing with uh, capital, just repeat the same exercise, and the key is that these Ws drop out because they're the same for each type of production, okay? And since we've already shown that this price ratio is also equal to the marginal rate of substitution for individuals, we have shown that these are equal to each other. Once again, prices act as the bridge between 
individual decision making and sort of the collective good. We go back up to there and now we can click check off this box too. So we've seen that a market using prices meets these three uh, criteria. It achieves a Pareto efficient outcome.